and welcome back to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. We're developing great art habits. The art groupie that we are going to be working with today is Elvis. Elvis is the type of groupie that uses his imagination. He envisions in his mind what exactly he's going to do and it's constantly changing. You need to imagine the possibilities with this art lesson because it's going to be a tough one. So our famous artist that we're going to be working with is an artist from the 1800s. Her name is Sonia Delonier. She created, or I should say co-created, the movement of art called Orpheumism strong colors and geometric shapes. She was very influenced by cubism. So Sonia Delonier. So what I've done first is because she loves to use circles in most of her paintings and her art and she even became a fashion design, a fashion designer and created all kinds of furniture, clothing. It was crazy, the things that she made. But she loved the circle. The circle was her favorite shape. And I think it was called um, Orpheus, Orpheism because it kind of morphs. Her squares become circles that change colors and it's, it's quite amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, I traced a bunch of circles using different household items. And I did this before we started. So I took different shapes around the house and I traced them using a pencil and cut them out with my scissors. And I made a variety. So I used a, which I'm sure you all have in your house right now, a container of Clorox wipes for my large circles. For my two smaller circles, I used the bottom of my glue container and the lid. I used a paper towel tube to get a type of circle. And then I also used my coffee mug. So I was resourceful in getting all my different types of circles. The next thing, after I got a great um, variety of circles cut out, I cut some of them in half and some of them into fourths because we'll be using them and I'll show you how that's done. Um, the first thing after the circles are cut out, you got to think about how you are going to do the colors in the background. And I kind of used the actual paper itself to create these pieces. So I would, for example, take a paper that I wanted in maybe this section and I would put it underneath the paper and I would line it up so I knew I had the edges and it was a straight line. I would put a little dot as to where that square ended and I would line up the edges and do it also here. And then, because I don't have a ruler, I actually used a candy bar. You can find any kind of straight edge I'm sure in your house to use. And I drew my straight line with my candy bar. And that's how I started to create the background colored spots of my abstract piece of art. So that would go there, for example. And then I would cut out and do the same thing for each area of color. Some kind, some of the colors might overlap and that's fine. No worries. So this is what it turned out looking like. 
was my final background piece. Still need to add a few more pieces, so I didn't add this one yet. I'm going to sneak that under there. That kind of a little further down. It's a little too big, so I'm going to cut that. Didn't measure perfectly there. I'm going to add some glue to the back. Glue that on. Line that up. And same with this little guy. Put some glue on there and line that up in the bottom corner. I think I like that little color shining through. And this one that we just cut out, I'm going to put right there. All right, so now that's finished. I'm going to start start adding my circles to my design. So where I was talking about where it kind of morphs is it's all one circle, but with these intersecting lines going over it, what Sonia would do is that she would use different colored circles or color or paint in her areas with different colors. She wouldn't make one circle all one color. Same for over here where these lines are intersecting, her circles or the colors of her circle would change. So we're going to give it a shot. Like I said, it's not going to be an easy project, but we're going to try. So I'm going to glue on my first circle here. But see what I mean about how she morphs into another? So I'm going to put that under there and kind of use this to trace. And then I'm going to Cut this out. So this is going to go here because it's morphing in to another area. So it needs to be a different color. See how that works? All right, let's try another one here. So they have another circle over top. Let's try, uh, I kind of like this pink one, over top here. But again, since it's going to be overlapping this circle, this piece needs to be cut out and another color needs to be in its place. So right here we'll make a line. We can cut this right out. here and I'm going to pick another color oh I like this blue and I'm going to put this one right on top and I'm going to cut out that piece and put this in replace of this circle so it's overlapping circles kind of morphing it, or Orpheus, Orpheism, like she's known for, and layering the circles that way. So I have one more circle that is supposed to go here in my design. Let's move that one over a little bit. 
right here. So I'm going to, again, use the other circle as the template or the stencil. I'm going to cut that part out. Glue that there. And then this piece, I'm going to use another one. For that one. So there we go. And that piece would go there. Okay. Like so. So that's how I would pretty much base out my entire design doing different circles. I could, if the morphing or orpheism is a little too complicated, just glue some circles and overlap them. Also, very fine and very Sonia-like. Okay? So, if you don't have all these beautiful colored papers or scissors and glue, you can also color it in using other materials that you have available to you. So I colored in with some markers. I colored in with some colored pencils. I also used crowns. And I also thought of some students who might not even have those materials with them. You could just use your simple pencil and creating different designs instead of coloring it in with um, a solid color, you could also just fill your spaces in with different designs and patterns. So again, the artist that we're working with today is Miss Sonia Delaunier. She created Orpheism strong colors and geometric shapes and very influenced by cubism and our art group before the day was elvis imagine the possibilities so have fun creating and do a great job can't wait to see your art